ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce our next international expert, Catherine McIntosh. So, 12 years ago, I had just finished my first year of graduate school. I was studying to get my master's in somatic psychology to study the mind and the body in order to create a different future. And after my first year, I went traveling around the world and spent two months on the islands and beaches of some amazing places. And I came home back to Colorado broke. I had $50 in my pocket. <laughs> I had fun. I was desperate and looking for a job. I needed something for the summer, so I walked into a restaurant. And it was my 12th restaurant of the day with a resume. I had a shaved head. <laughs> Trying to get a job with a shaved head <laughs> isn't very smart. <laughs> So I walked in and I shook the manager's hand and I was defeated. I'd spent all day, no one wanted to hire me. And my entire body from the ground up had a full body shake me from the inside goosebump moment. Have any of you ever had that moment where your whole body goosebumps? You see, it's my belief that goosebumps and these full body moments are our body's way of allowing us to recognize our intuition, that whisper. You can't see it, you can't hear it, you can't taste it, but you can feel it. Yeah. And so this intuition, this goosebump moment, I believe Recognizing those is the difference between being a great, phenomenal leader. You see, leaders create a future we, we can't yet see. So we have to trust something. Now science tells us that there are more brain stem cells in our guts, in our bodies, than in our minds. So I've learned over the years that listening to this creates way more than listening to this. Steve Jobs, if he would have listened to everybody's no, we wouldn't have the technology we do today. The leaders of your city, this city, I am in love with this city. The buildings, the, the innovation, the leaders of this city went on a gut feeling for a future that wasn't yet built. And so it's these goosebump moments that our gut feeling, it guides us to a different reality. You see, when my son was two weeks old, I was, the plan was to be a stay at home mom. And my husband was going to raise the income. And it, that husband was the man who, whose hand I shook and gave me full body goosebumps. But he came home after my son was literally two weeks old and I'm nursing him and he says, I'm really sorry, but I quit my job. Now, when you're nursing a two-week-old <laughs> and you don't have a future that you know is possible, it kind of does something to your whole body. <laughs> so I had a moment where I panicked, I froze, I freaked out, I was terrified, and I was pretty mad. And then I used my gut and after three months old, my son was three months old, and there was no income coming in, and my husband wasn't quite getting the entrepreneurial brain. So I knew I had to do something. And I did something completely insane, really. I asked a three-month-old what he thought of my vision of our future. Who does that? <laughs> I do, <laughs> right? And so, 
You want to know what he did? He giggled and he smiled and he gave me so much energy. And I knew in that moment that was all I needed. That was all I needed. And so I did something crazy and built a business in less than 10 months around the world and traveled with my son and my family. He has more passport stamps than most US citizens. <laughs> yeah? He's been on more planes than most adults in the US. And so I followed my gut instinct to build an incredible business. And the leaders of this city, I think they're crazy too. <laughs> because they built the tallest building in the world on sand. <laughs> to me, that's a little insane. And so my invitation to you is there is a knowing inside of you, your gut, your body, your intuitive knowing, it knows more about the future than your mind. And so it's great to use your mind to make business decisions and calculated risks. But next time you're faced with something you don't know the outcome of, my invitation to you is ask your gut, <laughs> ask your body, and find out what's true for you because your knowing is greater than any no on the planet. There are a lot of leaders here in the room that want to create a future that doesn't yet exist. And my invitation is please follow your knowing. Trust your intuition and be bold enough so that in a few years time we're looking at you as the next iconic leader. Thank you.